Hi, um, today we are making pasta with garlic. And first what we have here is boiling water in a pot. You fill the pot halfway up with water and then it's just like cooking any other kind of pasta. The first pasta I'm using is high fiber uh, spaghetti, which has six grams more fiber than what you would usually have. So you just take, this is half a pack and that's all I have left. So all you have to do is add it into the boiling water. It's very easy. Try not to burn yourself though. And grab a wooden spoon, bamboo spoon actually. And all you have to do is stir the water, stir the <laughs> pasta I mean in the water. Um, usually it takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes to boil your water which I've already done. So to make sure that you have good hygiene, always wash your hands before you start cooking and wash out your pot and your spoon so that you don't cross contaminate. Go. Okay, so now that our pasta has boiled and you can easily just take a piece out and eat it and see if it's not crunchy, I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to put the pasta into the colander, strain it. Simply place the strainer in your sink and then you can just pour the pasta right in there and it'll separate out the water and the pasta. All right, so now that I have cut up my garlic, I'm going to turn the heat back on. Low, nice and low. Um, and I'm going to add my olive oil into the pan. And what we're going to do is we're just going to saute this and then we can add it to our pasta. And you don't want to burn the garlic and it, it'll be obvious if you do. And you want to make sure that um, your oil doesn't splash up and hit you in the face. That'd be painful. So I'm just going to do this for a few minutes until... I get that nice garlic smell. All right, now I've turned the heat off because I'm done sauteing my garlic and I'm gonna add my pasta back in and then top it off with some Parmesan cheese. So I just grab your pasta, pour it in. Okay. And now I just need to stir it gently so but it all mixes nicely. And once I do that, all I have to do is I have a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. However much cheese you want to use is preference. So I'm just gonna pour this in, let it melt, and keep stirring. And now we have this lovely dish.